Welcome back to the 39th part in this Python series on the Django framework. In this one, I thought we'd customize the admin a little bit more in Django, and I thought we'd sort of look at how to sort the objects that come out of the database, either specifically just in the Django admin, and maybe in the next video we'll also talk about how to sort the objects that come straight out of that database, no matter if you're looking at them in the admin or just putting them out pulling them out somewhere else on your website. So let's go ahead and look at the one specifically to do with the admin first, although they both use a sort of similar way of doing things. So I'm going to go to the admin that we were looking at in the last video with sort of this uh, info sort of column here that we added and all these others which we added in the last video uh, to customize the admin slightly. But what I'm going to do is change the order based on some of the information within the model that this page relates to, so the user profile model. So to do that, I'm still going to be using this user profile admin class, which specifically for customizing the admin is a really good place to put code related to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write another method here, and what I'm going to use this method for is I'm going to pretty much use a default method that is on a class from which we've inherited called get query set and I'm just going to customize the output of that method slightly. So the method get query set is actually defined on a model on rather on a class that we've inherited it from. So somewhere in the inheritance chain from admin.modeladmin that model has access to the method get query set. And as you can imagine, that's just going to uh, allow us to intercept the response from whenever we query a model and ask it for some objects, uh, we're kind of intercepting that response and we're able to customize not only what objects it returns, but also the order in which they're presented to uh, either the admin page or the custom templates that you might write in the sort of main part of your website. So to do that actual overriding part, I'm going to call the method get query set, or rather I'm going to I'm going to define it, but when we define a method uh, which has already been defined from a in a class that we're inheriting from in Python, we're actually sort of overriding that completely. So we also need another line to say, okay, well we still want to use the method uh, get query set to do the actual getting of the query, or, or the response from what we're telling Python to get. So if we want to get a certain a uh, few objects from, say, the user profile model, uh, we want to be able to still allow it to do that, and then we're just going to customize it after after it's finished doing that. So we're going to add another line to be able to do that, but first I'm just going to allow it to say self and request. So request relates uh, information to do with that particular query. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say the query set is equal to uh, whatever the query set is returning from the method sort of above. So instead of overriding the method, we're just going to use the one that we're overriding it from, and then we're going to customize it, as I said. So hopefully this sort of makes sense, because this method has already been defined further up the inheritance chain. So remember, we're inheriting from model admin class. So to inherit from that method further up the chain, I'm going to say super, and you may not have come across super before if you're sort of relatively new to Python, but it's just saying, you know, we want to go and get that method that's further up the inheritance chain that we already have access to in this class, but instead of overriding it completely, we want to still use it, but then customize its response. So I'm going to say the name of this model, which is user profile admin, and I'm going to say self. So it needs a reference to the objects that are going to be passed through this class, self being that. And then I'm going to say dot get query set, and that is literally calling the method that is on that class from which we've inherited it. And get query set, bear in mind that it needs an underscore here if you're using Django, I think, uh, before 1.6. So it changed to get query set without the underscore like that uh, after 1.6. So just bear in mind if you're using a really, really old version of Django, that has changed. So then all I need to do is pass in request, because remember the method that we're uh, overriding, or in this case, sort of 
utilizing, uh, it still takes this request parameter, which is why we sort of have to write it as the same, so that it has the same sort of information. Um, and then what we can do now, now that we've got that query set, is we can customize it. Because what we've done so far is we've been able to get that uh, method that's uh, utilized further up in the chain, and we're just we've basically rewritten it. So this method, if we said return query set, does exactly the same thing that the one that we're sort of trying to rewrite or you know further up the chain that method it does the exact same thing as that method that's already been defined so if we were to refresh this is just refresh so I can refresh the page uh, it's the same order because it's got the exact same functionality as the one that we're also utilizing further up the chain so what I can do now is I can customize that response so instead of saying uh, this query set and then returning it straight away what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize the order that it is being returned by so if that doesn't make sense just let me show you so I'm going to do query set is equal to and in Python of course you can have the variable names the same it's just going to take the latest one and I'm going to say query set dot order by order by with an underscore, like that, and then it takes a string. But what I'm going to say is, for example, phone. So you can see we've got a phone uh, element here, and if we refresh this, you can see that it's sorted uh, in numerical order based on the phone number. So that is essentially how you sort objects. Uh, within the Django admin only, because remember this class, uh, user profile admin, only applies to the sort of admin interface uh, because it's inheriting from model admin and we're only sort of applying this class. We're only registering it in the admin site. So it's only going to apply in this scenario. If we try to pull models out of the database, say, in our Django shell, then it's not going to work quite, as, quite the same. It's not going to use this query set because it's only defined within the admin class. So a couple of other things you can do is if you wanted to reverse the order of uh, one of these fields, for example, say the phone number, if you wanted it completely the opposite way round, you could say uh, minus phone and that would just do the phone number in descending order rather than ascending, so refresh again. And so we've got the complete sort of inverse of that. So if you're wondering why it's actually not the exact inverse of the order you saw before, uh, if you think about it, our phone num numbers are the same, so it doesn't know what to prioritize uh, based on the phone number. So by default, it actually prioritizes based on the order in which the objects were put into that database. If you want to be explicit about how it defines this order, then you could specify another string. So this second string is sort of like the second uh, way that it's going to sort objects if, for example, you have a, su a situation like this where we have two phone number fields with the uh, integer zero and of course it doesn't know which one to put first so we can be explicit and we can say, well, okay, we don't know which phone number is going to come first so why don't we sort by user at that point? So instead we could say something like user and then refresh so now it puts it in alphabetical order, ascending, of the usernames if the phone numbers don't really give a clear indication as to which order it should come in because we've got the a particular phone number on the top but then we've got two of the same. So that's a good way of specifying the primary and secondary sort of uh, fields uh, from which it's going to determine the order in the Django admin. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing with the super stuff and uh, pretty much utilizing that method that we inherited from further up the chain in the model admin class. And that's pretty much how you filter objects within the Django admin. So in the next one, we're actually going to look at applying this not only to the Django admin, but to our model in general using what's called a model manager.